So for uh, UDS people, I wanted to show you a little trick to make your trees always snowy or always dusty, uh, regardless of the weather type. So if you've got like, maybe a mountaintop that's snowy and you want trees still with leaves, kind of like and just kind of like have static snow set on them, you can you know do this. So it's pretty simple procedure. This is a Megascans tree, and but you can do it on anything. So let's choose the tree and grab the leaf material for it and you can set this on on anything and um, we'll scroll down and grab the master material for Megascrans uh, trees that's MA foliage and open that up okay so in um, so uh, in uh, the current version of um, UDS, you've got the surface weather effects. I don't know if it's different on the previous versions. Probably the same. I know we combined a lot of stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, that's right. Okay, so open up your surface weather effects after. I mean, this is just normally hooking up the surface weather effects to your material like you uh, normally would do. So open up the surface weather effects. Okay. And we'll scroll all the way over here. Oops, excuse me. Where is it? It's uh, up here. Okay, so normally, let me um, undo it here. Let me get it back to the way it was. So, um, wait, where was it? Sorry about that. Let me get it. Okay, so normally, I, th I believe it's hooked up. When you see it, it's going to be hooked up like so. Let me move these out of the way. So normally it's going to be hooked up like this. Okay? That's how it's normally going to be hooked up. So what you need to do is create a switch parameter. So we can just go over here and switch. Uh, set a switch parameter. Okay, and I just call them always snowy and always dusty. Okay, and then create a uh, static um, uh, parameter and set it to one. Okay, and let's just delete that. And and you can hook them up like this. One goes to true uh, on both of them, and then you can see that your snowy's on your A and dusty's on your B. So let's disconnect those two. Okay, move them over here for snowy, and move it over here for dusty. Okay, and then hook them back up to the appropriate one, A for snowy, and B for dusty. Okay, and then save that. All right, and it'll probably compile. Yep, it's going to take a little while to compile, so let's just wait for that. <clears throat> it may take longer for years to compile, because when I did it, it was like a thousand shaders. But since I'm doing it again, it, it's not too too bad. Um, okay, almost done there. All right, so we've got that saved, and that again, that surface weather effects and MA foliage. Uh, if I save that, okay, so now we can go back to, um, Go back to our tree and you know just open that up open up the leaves again and if you scroll down you will now have two parameters under uds uh, let's see where is edw so so now you have ultra dynamic weather this is a normal mask and now you have two new parameters always snowy and always dusty so see if we have enable always snowy and then you can see that right now um, I don't have it checked here, so we're at summer. 
So let's just take a look at that. We can go and see we've got summer. Okay. And we go back to this one here and material instance and just check snowy. And save that. And then now we've got a static snowy tree. Regardless of whatever weather you weather type you choose, this is always going to be snowy. You can do the same thing for dusty. Okay. Thanks.